Hi, I am Saurabh Suman and today we will talk about IEC 62443.3.1. Uh, so all of, all of these IEC 62443 standards talk about uh, cyber security in uh, industrial control systems or we can say oil and gas or uh, any critical infrastructure. So these standards can be referred for uh, any type of cyber security standards or, uh, or implementation or we can say risk assessment also. Uh, starting from the product design to application level so uh, on, on all steps we can follow this IC 62443 but, but today we'll talk about uh, uh, especially about IC 62443 and what are the contents of IC 62443 uh, so so basically this standard addresses several uh, categories of cyber security technologies and the countermeasure techniques uh, uh, or a specific type of techniques which uh, we can say uh, can be deployed in the industrial control system environment. Uh, so, so this standard can be taken as a guideline. Uh, so, it has each categories uh, well explained their vulnerabilities and what vulnerabilities are getting addressed by each technology is uh, detailed in this standard. And then uh, there are suggestions for deployment also and their known strengths and weaknesses uh, are mentioned in this uh, uh, standard. So, so this standard can be referred as a guideline for uh, uh, cyber security controls which can be implemented in um, oil and gas or any power, thermal power or nuclear power or any, any uh, industrial control system uh, applications or scenarios we can say. So, so basically it has multiple chapters. So if you go to the first chapter, it deals with the authentication and authorization technology and as you know like uh, Authentication and authorization technologies are uh, one of the pillars uh, of cyber security. So, so uh, this standard uh, uh, tells about the nine types of authentication and authorization techniques or cyber security controls which could be implemented uh, in IACS environment. So, first one is the role-based ba uh, access, uh, uh, access control or we can say role-based authorization tools it talks about. So, in short, it is like RBAC uh, is also uh, known pretty common in uh, uh, cyber security domain second uh, it uh, section it uh, talks about the password uh, authentication so uh, password authentication like uh, passphrase or passcode or password so it details about uh, all types of the password authentication then next uh, it talks about the ch challenge in the response of the authentication so it comes uh, it talks about the chap app eep all, all all type of authentication which could be implemented in the iscs environment then it talks about the next is the physical token authentication so there are lots of physical tokens also uh, from some of the vendors if you check online you will find uh, plenty of this uh, physical token authentication as well then it talks about the smart card authentication smart card could also be used in the windows system or in the linux system in form of the authentication device so most probably you have seen in the corporate life that you are swiping your card to uh, uh, for punch in punch out or anything for attendance or opening computer even so e even some cabinets also has this type of functionality so this is smart card authentication and then it talks about the biometric authentication like uses of the biometrics even in fingerprint or retina scan or or voice so these these are some biometric authentication we can say then it talks about the location based authentication uh, uh, like uh, nowadays uh, Google uh, Pay is using location-based authentication to verify whether the payment is being done from a specific location or not. So it is asking for the GPS access also. So similarly, we can enable these type of authentication controls also in IACS environment uh, as well. Uh, next, it, uh, uh, it talks about the password distribution and management of uh, a password. And then uh, it talks about the device to device authentication uh, as well. So this is the first chapter which deals, uh, uh, which talks about all these uh, solutions. Uh, next is the filtering blocking access control te technologies. So uh, th these are some preventive uh, uh, controls we, I can, we can say and it includes like network firewalls or host based firewalls uh, or virtual networks. Uh, and then it talks about uh, or, or it recommends some guidelines, provide guidelines about the encryption technology and the data validation. So first, first in encryption technology, it comes about the symmetric key encryption. Then it comes about the public key encryption and key distribution. And then it talks about the VPNs like virtual private network, how, how it could be implemented in the ICS environment or what are the weakness and strength of each of the cybersecurity controls related to 
encryption technology as in data validation uh, then it talks about and uh, it uh, about uh, management audit measurement monitoring and detection tools so so several several tools are listed in this like uh, log auditing utilities log is quite important in iss environment or in in even in it environment logs are always of the utmost importance uh, uh, second well, uh, virus and malicious code detection systems uh, then it talks about the intrusion detection system so intrusion detection system it could be like host based intrusion detection system or it could be network uh, intrusion detection system so, so it gives you guidelines about this ids systems as well then vulnerability scanners are the let's uh, there are lots of vulnerability scanners nowadays available for iss environment also <laughs> so so it has some guidelines like how to how to implement how to deploy these vulnerability scanners uh, next next uh, it gives guidelines about uh, forensics and analysis tools in short it is called fat uh, uh so uh, this will uh, help user to know about the forensics and analysis tools whatever is available and how to implement and how to keep it ready at the time of the moment uh then next is the host configuration management tools and then uh, some tools it's uh, it is talking about automated software management tools uh, as well and next section when we go in this standard it uh, tells you about the industrial automation and control systems for computer softwares okay so in iss environment there are lots of software are being used so like uh, uh, server and workstation operating systems are there those those could be like windows uh, servers or windows workstations uh, or, or they have some proprietary uh, softwares also some some hmis scadas have their own proprietary uh, softwares also uh, uh, it gives some guidelines about the real time and embedded operating system and then it also talks about the web technologies and finally it talks about uh, it gives you guidelines about the physical security controls like physical protection of uh, iss environment and personal security as well so these all chapters these all uh, recommendations are in uh, are included in ic624 4331 and uh, uh we can uh, we can go by chapter one uh, each chapter each section and then uh, we can discuss about it in details in our next uh, videos thank you for now